Hi, I'm Mary and this is Karina. And we're from Aquatic Adventures in Roanoke, Virginia. And today we're gonna to talk about practicing the backstroke kick. So first we're gonna talk a little bit, I'm gonna have Karina demonstrate the backstroke kick. When we do our backstroke kick, similar to our freestyle kick, what we wanna do <coughs> is have nice straight legs. We remember that the kick initiates from the hip and that while this, the legs are straight, they're not completely straight or locked. We do have a bend to the knee, a slight bend, and the emphasis is on pushing down in the water more than lifting out of the water. With the backstroke kick, what you want to really think about, and a common mistake we see is knees really breaking the water. Knees should not be breaking the water. That means you're bending your knees too much and you're going more into a bicycle kick. So we want to keep a straighter leg, pressing down. See how her toes are almost pointing inwards? Really emphasizing with that foot on the downward motion of the leg. And then as she presses down, there's a slight bend to the knees, but it's not asking the knees to come up. It's pressing down on that water. So that's the backstroke kick. We're gonna practice that backstroke kick in several different ways. We can take her right into a streamlined position and we can just kick here and she can take off kicking this way. The nice thing about the streamlined position, if you can maintain that, is that you're in a good body position. It keeps everything lifted. Your hands are in the water, which helps lift your chest and lift your hips. We want to stay with hips lifted when we do a backstroke kick. So important in the backstroke to keep the hips lifted. It's so common for people to hinge at the hips and drop the hips, and which really throws you off. It's very difficult to do your body roll when the hips are dropped and your kick. You often see the knees coming out of the water. It really, really will give you a hard time. You'll wonder what's going on it's because you're dragging your butt. If you feel that you're having a hard time with the backstroke streamline position and getting that kick down at first, you do have a couple of options and we're gonna go ahead and show you two different things you can do. One thing you can do is take the hands and put them down at the side and then just think about the kick and body position. What you have to remember when you take your hands down to the side is make sure that that head position stays where it is. We don't want to lift up and drop the chin. If you drop your chin, what's going to happen is your hips are going to drop and you're going to have a hard time staying up and now you're like a turtle on your back in the water. So you want to keep that head back, ears under water, water at midline on the cheeks, chest is lifted, and then again, focus on getting those hips lifted instead of letting them drop. So if you're going to do that and have your hands at your side, definitely make sure that you're focusing on that body position. All right, and the third thing that you can do is use a kickboard. So what we're going to do is get Karina to lay on her back, lift herself up, and she's just going to put the kickboard over her head. She can hold her hands out just a little bit beyond that streamlined position. And what we want to remember though is make sure that your hands still stay in the water and you want to either place the kickboard on the water or very close to the water because if it starts to come up into the air like this and your hands come up in the air, it's probably going to give you a tendency to drop down a little bit. But So we want to keep those hands down and kickboard in the water when we're in this position and then we can just practice our kick. It gives you a little bit of buoyancy and something to hold on to to keep those arms up overhead. I'm Mary and that's how to practice the backstroke kick in the water.